when we think about AI, we, we think about it in lots of different uh, applications and if you like levels. Um, we, we have an ambition to automate all our key business processes using AI. So that's something that's been progressed quite well. Uh, on the network side, uh, one thing that we're using AI for is uh, around automation and what we need to do to automate the complexity that our networks are currently uh, operating under today. We use machine learning to look at all the millions of alarms and performance indicators and then use that data to um, develop algorithms for predictive maintenance and also for self-healing, closed loop assurance. And then the third type of AI that we're using is the AI that's embedded in our network. Intel are producing new chips with embedded AI accelerators. And so that's a third area. And of course, then there's the area of generative AI. Um, what we use that for is to ingest our documentation, the past history of events, and we use a large language model. And that in turn with our smart people um, and access to Gen AI makes them smarter to triage um, incidents and to resolve issues a lot quicker. Automation has been around for a long time, but I guess one of the triggers for, uh, I guess, moving on the path towards autonomous networks is that we have changed our network from the old black boxes into um, software functions running on common compute. And that enables us to do a lot more clever things with automation.